I definitely trust you're having a fantastic heritage day thus far. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Clover Pride Fat Spread is a delicious and tasty fat spread blended with clo Clover Olive Pride Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Now, this is so versatile to use and adds heaps of flavor to our Heritage Day recipe, which is Umkopa with delicious lamb stew. Now to get this recipe, SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. To get the recipe, SMSs cost 1 round 50 and free SMSs do not apply. So we've promised you a deliciously tasty recipe here today and we are about to serve up some magic, some heat and we're ready to get started. Mama Lindy, do you want to take us through what we uh, need and uh, the first steps? Yeah, the first step, what we need is all the veggies, the green pepper, potato and onion mm. and the clove garlic. And what we're going to do, Paddy said, you can start putting okay. my meat while, while I'm chopping. Okay, brilliant. Please, may I just buy it? All right. You? We'll also get cracking this side. Okay, what do you have? For you guys. Um, just preparing for our mkupa ungani. So it's going right. to get cracking with the corn. You can grill it there. Just keep rolling it because we want that char. So one thing I want to find out, because Nina yes. is Zulu, I'm not sure if umkupa is, is guacane in. I'm not sure either, yeah. because I'm tossed. So, right. <laughs> Maybe finally I can shed some light. <laughs> so how, how different is umkopa to the traditional, either ujeke or steamed bread, or even, yeah. I know, Chef Pumla, you've taught me how to make some bread using amasi too. Yes, regular steamed bread, or the modern steamed bread. So umkopa traditionally um, is kosa. So in the past, they used um, to use a piece of stone, something similar to this, but flat. Wow. This is a modern mm. version. So stone ground, so you will take your maize, which is a dry uh, version of corn, mm. and then they will grind it to milli meal. So that's the difference, the main difference. Okay. Yeah, this bread is made from, you know, the milli meal. And then to amp it up, you know, that corn flavor, we mm. use the fresh corn. So you pound it. Okay. So it's not just a matter. I've seen steamed bread these days, they just add, you know, corn for color and stuff. You have mm. to pound it to keep it authentic. Wow, and we're going all the way authentic in this kitchen here today. Whichever way you like to enjoy your steamed bread, definitely hit us up on our social media platforms and let us know. Who knows, maybe we can be featuring your recipe the next time we're cooking along, making it super traditional, super zanzilicious. Now, Mama, how far are you with those yeah, chopping peppers? Chopping. Can you add a little bit of water, please? Right? Okay, we'll do. Bit of salt. I'm just going to season. So I quickly want to find out, um, Oh, precisely. We have so many dishes um, yes. in our culture. I think the similarity, the dishes themselves look similar from both Zulu right. and Kosa. It's just the names they the are names, given. Yes. Yeah, earlier you were talking about beans incorporating corn. Yes. So we yes. have soapy. I don't know what soapy, you call it. Soapy, I've never heard soapy. that word before. Yes, soapy. We call it I've soapy. also never <laughs> heard So soapy is like soup, oh. which is made from maize. So it's dry maize. It's soaked just like Sam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then you soak it overnight in hot water and then you use uh, beans. Mm. So it's similar to beans, but it's more in a soup form. All right. So we call it isopi. Oh, guys. Yeah, and then to answer your question, you can definitely put some corn. Yes. I've seen um, a lot of similarities in Italian cuisine. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I happened to go to Italy once. And, ah, um, just throw that in there. <laughs> just throw that in there the same way I'm throwing Hot in this delicious Why not? clover pride. Why not? So yeah, so one of the dishes that I had yeah. there, it had corn, it had beans, and it had something that looked like um, Sam, kind of. Yeah, yes. So, and uh, bits of chicken in it. Okay. Um, it's a Sicilian dish, but it's similar because it uses corn and it uses beans in it. All right. So, yeah. So, just keep uh, turning it um, to see if it's brown. Right. I'm going to be mixing my ingredients here, Pali. Let me make sure that this is hot enough for you. Is this similar to brying it on the bry stand? It's exactly the same concept. All right. Except you're doing it now on the grill in the kitchen. Indoors. Okay. <laughs> yeah, indoors, <laughs> really. And you don't need to put anything um, in that. Mm. So to make the bread, um, you're going to get a bowl. It's very straightforward. Okay. The, all the ingredients go in one bowl. So we've got self-raising flour. Okay. So self-raising flour is a shortcut, really. Mm. You know, instead of now having raising agents and stuff. Mm. <laughs> so that's your, this is the, um, the ingredient that keeps the integrity of the dish, right. like which is umkupa, the mealy meal. Yeah. So you have to have a uh, mealy meal. Again, if you think of similarities in our cuisine mm. and Italian, they have polenta, which is very similar. So you can use that as well. And now, if you don't have mealy meal. Uh, the, the portions. 
The portions, well, the portions I have about two cups All right. of the self-raising flour okay. and the one cup. I like to use those proportions a little bit less millimeter. Okay. Wow. And Mama Lindy, I know that we're speaking yeah. about the integrity yeah. of keeping food mm. traditional, mm. keeping food authentic, of course. Mm. And um, I had the incredible opportunity of going to over to mm. Joburg and there was an appetite fest there. And I was asking everyone, say, Kui Heritage Month, what makes South African cuisine so special? And of course, you run your own school called Is Zico. I mean, what is it about South African food that you decided to even put it in the name of your of your school? So, so I, I, I've decided to make the lamb uh, carousel stew mm. because it's the best. Even if you are gathering the family, Christmas, Thanksgiving, yeah. so it's the best. But the best thing you do with my carousel lamb stew mm. is the taste, because sometimes I braise my my yeah, onion, yeah. my everything first, and then. But it's it's not a problem. Okay. You can do it, but I prefer it. You braise all your veggies first. Yes, I get that. I think but so too. But it's not so a problem. Mm. But me personally, you know, personally, I love that. Absolutely. But as long as we can get the taste. And the taste is what's important, it, ma'am. It's what, it is important. And I know at your school you go above and beyond just yeah. teaching food, yeah. but also about communicating the different heritages that people come from, and that's a very important part for you. Definitely, mm. you know, I, I prefer to that because even people from overseas, they come and taste the African cuisine, which is they know Mama Lindy is the best. Ah, uh, it's not just Mama Lindy. It's so it's right. <laughs> And I make it whatever passion. Yeah. You know, you love it. Absolutely. And look, you I'm sure we're definitely going to love this here today. You're going to love it. You Absolutely. Know? And you own it. You have to own everything in your life. I agree. So I own it. You own it. You put your stamp on it. You put your name on it. I mean, just as we say here on SABC3, the That's stage is the yours. Stage. Own it. I own it. Absolutely. Ganyi, so how's it going there with the It's, it's going pretty well. It, it, it looks all right. It looks fresh. Another question I wanted to ask is that yes. I've seen with um, West African foods is that they use chili more. Yes, they do. Yeah, they like the chili foods. They have more tolerance of chili than some of us do in South Africa. Yeah. So do you happen to make that sometimes? I actually have a version uh, of cornbread, which yeah. is similar to this. I normally make it, you know, with a clover masotando, and then I would add some corn in it and then chopped chilies. All right. But I remove all the seeds inside and the vein as well, because that's where the heat is. So, but now it's not going to be chili food anymore if you remove the seeds. It is chilly. It's there. Trust yeah. me. Well, <laughs> that skin she has a little bit of a from Devin. Devin. He's Yeah, he's from like me. Chef he likes it to burn. We we in Durban have just that spice to us, and it's more than just our talent. Yes, mm -hmm. it is in our taste buds too. <laughs> I know, right? I think our corn is ready. You can move it. You um, can move it out now. Over, yes. Okay. Just move it to my board, and I can share some tips with you. Please do on Let's how to de husk in. it. Okay, I'm mm. trying to take it out, but now it's not working. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, let me help you. Open Please. Do. How do we open that? There's the pro right there. <laughs> I was telling you guys that I cook sometimes and when I bry these type of things, I do, do they happen? With my fingers, yeah. Oh, well, it shows now who the true pro is. No, can you say you're doing a sterling job in the kitchen today? Yeah, I'm really enjoying time. you. And also, I think that your questions are not only helping you, yes. but they're helping so many viewers out there at home who want to put on a spectacular dish, it being Heritage Day, but just don't know how. So here's a cool tip for you, Ganyiso. All right. Uh, this is what I normally do. You can just use the board okay. and then remove all the, the corn, yeah, the kennels. Or you can put it here. I'm not going to do it today, all but right. just remember the next time, if you've got this type of a pen, it's called a band pen. Okay. So you can just place it, and then from there you can cut it down. So what this does, it prevents all the mess. Because the mm. kennels, they have a tendency of spreading everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, that's true. So, okay, to get cracking, maybe you can help me. You also have a knife there. I'm going to need right. another one of these. We can keep the two aside. We okay. can use it later if we want. Yo, it seems like our so stew we, is coming yeah, along. Yeah, so this is how we remove. Exactly like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, like I that. hope I'm gonna do it. I hope I don't cut my fingers. Well, if I you do, we've got the paramedics just on standby. Oh, there. Hey, okay, I've got. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm doing it. Okay, so what we're going to do with our corn now? We're going to incorporate it to the rest of the ingredients. All right. You don't even need to break it. Just take this. 
add it right into your other ingredients. Okay, I think I made a bit of a mess here, but... You've got a cloth here, if you want. You can can you so, there's no such thing in the kitchen. When you make a mess, it means that we're having even more fun. More fun. And of course, time. we're having such a good time. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what's cooking, in this kitchen, we're making a delicious heritage umkopa and lamb stew, of course. And we have just added in our veggies into the pot. We've added our clover delicious pride fat spread. We've also got in here our, our onions, our peppers. We've just put in some brown sugar, tomato paste, of course, and some chutney to add more flavor, add more zing. So you see me cleaning every two seconds, right? Yeah, as yeah, clean is, as you go. This, yeah, that, that's the number one rule my mother taught me in the kitchen is that whenever you're cooking, make sure that you wash your dish, you clean as you go. So when you're done cooking, clean everything, as you go. And when you dish up, you don't have yes, to go back sir. and now clean. I yes, always say, sir. my mom said the same thing. It is a game changer, South Africa. Yeah. Clean as you go, as you're cooking along in the kitchen. So now we've asked you on social media if you have any questions for Unganiso. And we've got Usam Kelo here, who mm -hmm. says, Happy Heritage Day, everyone. Unganiso. This is spicy and I'm here for all of it. Are you single or are you taken or is it just complicated? Uh, well, <laughs> what would you like it to be? Wow. I'm joking, it's complicated. It's definitely complicated. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm taken, I'm not sure if I'm single. I'm, Spill the just, tea. Um, Spill the tea. We want to hear all about it. I'm well, with you there. I'm with you there. Well, I kind of met someone a couple of days ago and now they've ghosted me. So, yeah. hi, if you're watching, how you doing? Are you all right? Please respond to my text. This just oh. got so <laughs> awkward. If you are, if you feel subtweeted, if you feel like those shots were coming to you, our homeboy is waiting and we've got the entire Afternoon Express family that is backing him 100%. You are missing out on a good thing. You see his skills? Now look, after the break, we are going to make sure to come back and help us wrap up this awesome Heritage Day feast. Ooh, yummy.